Hello and welcome back to the June 3 workshop series where we take a deep dive into the features of June 3. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at building a realistic choir patch. We're going to use one oscillator across eight voices, and then we're going to be using one of the filter effects to mimic the realistic choir sound. And as usual, if you have any questions about what you see in today's video, please let us know down in the comments. And if you want to catch up on the workshop series, if you've missed any of the videos, you can check that in the link in the description. Okay, let's get started on this. So what we're going to use is one oscillator only, and then we're going to use the eight voice section over here to build up the layers across the board. So we're going to start with building up, say, nine voices. You don't have to use nine. You can use 10, 11, 12, whatever suits you. And for now, we're going to leave the spread, detune, everything where it is. But I'm going to change this to a wavetable and we're going to scroll to the bottom and choose the vintage saw. So we have that sort of softer sound on the saw, it's a bit more rounded. With that done, we can jump to the filters now and we're just using this one filter. We're not going to actually actively use the cutoff and resonance, but we are going to use the filter effects. So because we're only using the filter effects, we can change the routing to effects coming first and then it will go through filter one and filter two, but that's not going to matter unless you are planning to use these filters. With that done, we can choose our effect, which is going to be formant. This is going to be the basis of our quiet sound. And at first, this is going to sound pretty horrible. It's going to be a lot of digital clipping because of the resonant peaks in there. So what we can do just to quickly mitigate this is choose key tracking and then go to oscillator one volume. And I'm just going to bring this down. And that's going to do just there for now. So now you can hear that we're starting to get that sort of choir texture. So with that done, we can head back to the tuning section here. So the detune and spread, it feels like we need to adjust them to make it sound a little bit more realistic. But first we need to change the tuning and we're going to change this to random. So it is just truly picking a random point for the voices to hit. So it sounds a little bit more natural. So let's go from linear to random as it's playing. As you'll agree, random sounds a lot nicer, and then we can push the detune a little bit harder. We can increase the spread if we want to. But for now, I'm going to leave this at zero because we're going to spread the voices out using panning across the eight voices over here on the right. So let's move on to the voices. I'm just going to close the mod matrix for now. So we're just focusing on these voices and I'm going to increase all of these voices to eight. And I'm just going to increase the polyphony to a minimum of eight. So I'm just going to put it on 16 for now. Depending on what you're playing, you're going to need more polyphony. Okay, So we're getting that distortion happening again. And what we're going to do with these voices is solo each one at a time. So for now, I'm going to do the first two voices as a classic left and the second voice as a classic right. So if we listen to voice one, and voice two, they are now panned left and right. Voice three, we can just bring that over like that. And voice four, we can bring just over like that. So we've got sort of less harsh panning on the third and fourth. Then on the fifth and sixth, I'm going to bring that down to say the quarter way or somewhere near. And then seven and eight are going to stay straight down the middle for now. So we can see we've got hard left and right. We've got a quarter left and right, and then we've got a half left and right. And what I'm going to do for all the voices is bring this volume level back up to around 40%. And each voice is going to have a reduction down to 50 just to avoid any clipping. Bring that level up. And the reason I'm doing this is to control it at the oscillator level. So it's a little bit more controlled. And then we can obviously control this with the master volume, maybe the effects bus using some compression and just bring the levels up. But for now, that's sounding pretty good. I'm just going to make some edits to the voices here. So you can see we've got the detune set here. Just for these last two, I'm going to push the detune out a little bit more. So let's just solo seven. And 
them out. And I might even increase these to say 11 voices, these two. So if we listen to these two on their own. We're starting to get more of a choir feel there. So let's build the envelope. So I'm going to choose analog and just create a nice release, maybe a little bit of sustain, sort of a slow decay down. Make it a bit slower. And now with the amp envelope set up, we can look at the individual voices and the formant filter. So we're going to have this in position one, which is zero. And then two, we're just going to incrementally move these up. So I'm going to say 15%. And I'm going to say just shy of 30 or 30 on the dot. And you can see I'm just going through and incrementally moving these around on the amount. So they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect intervals, but just choose where you want them to be for your own preset. So now everything's more separated out. It almost sounds like we have multiple voices now. We don't just have that singular choral voice. We have a group of people doing a choral voice. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, we can edit all of the voices by selecting all. And I'm going to increase the unison voice spread here. But we don't want to go too far because the choir's a little bit too spaced. But if that's something you're looking for, that's fine. But I want to retain a little bit of naturalism in there where we have sort of a mono tone coming out of the voice because our voices are mono. is going to be fine and if you want to you can go out on an individual level spread the voices out that way so maybe just a little bit of spread on these two voices sounding a little bit strange with that spread on so I'm going to remove the spread on the unison voices there I'm going to bring the levels down a smidge in fact this is doing it globally so just check you have them selected down here let's bring it down to about the 30 mark Okay, so the thing you need to check is I've just done that globally. I've soloed the voices up here. So you've got to be aware that you've got to select the voices to edit just those. So Okay, so we have a nice sounding choir patch there. There's a few things that we can do extra to add some realism. And we're going to use some LFOs. So we're going to use two in this particular instance. And we're going to use the Mod Matrix voice section here. So I'll set up the LFOs first. I'm going to say LFO 1 and LFO 2. And we want to adjust the fine tune. So I'm going to bring that over to here. And I'm going to bring this over to here. So this is going to affect all voices currently. So these two are going to work on the whole patch, every single voice from one to eight. Which is no good. So let's set up the rate. Let's just have a bit of a slower rate on both. I'll bring the amount down here. And then what we can do is attach LFO 1, 2, voices 1, 2, and 3. And then we can have 3, 4, and 5. So then from here, you can see that 1 to 3 are controlled by LFO 1. LFO 2 controls 4, 5, and 6. And then 7 and 8, where we've made those unique adjustments to the voices, are left in the middle and left unaffected by this sort of fine-tune movement. Bring the rate down again and bring down and 
and that adds a nice little bit of realism into the sound as well. And with that done, we have our basic choir patch sorted. So let's just add a few effects from effects bus one. So we've already got it selected. All voices are being affected. I'm just going to add an EQ. Boost the highs. I'm going to add some reverb and let's pick, say, Cathedral. I'm going to pick, say, nine seconds there. And then use the compressor at the end to add some air. Boost the input now. And then if we close that down, we can bring in the rest of our sounds. Just drag and drop to loop in there. We've got a little bit of an arpeggio going on. And there we have it. We have our first June 3 choir patch. You can see in conjunction with a few of the sounds, just to give it some guidance, it's not really there as a fleshed out track. You can hear that it starts to pull together and starts to sound realistic, especially with other elements added in. And the arpeggio that you've just heard is going to be the next video. We're going to recreate that. So don't worry if you're wanting that sound, you're going to be able to recreate that in the next workshop video. And as I mentioned earlier, if you have any questions about what you've seen in today's video, let us know down in the comments. And if you've missed any of the videos and want to keep up to date, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of these monthly workshop videos. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.